The SeaWorld Research and Rescue Team head out for a whale rescue. But little do they realise... It's a training exercise. Our response time was fantastic. Really good. The, uh, what they call a spoon knife. And how that works, once it's attached to the uh, pole, we're able to put that against the whale's skin and slice through the rope. Now with all the gear set up, the team met with the Queensland Department of Agriculture, Fisheries and Forestry to decide how to run the session. So what we do is we put that first 10 metre rope on. Now it's either attached here by the use of a uh, gated clip or a grapple. With the humpback whales we find it easier to do it with a clip, gated clip, because they're a, a slightly more passive animal than what a southern ride is. Here the team practiced attaching small boys at a distance and attaching large boys with a gated clip. This method was developed back in the 1800s when whaling was in place. So to get the whales on board, they would use rum barrels. They joined a whole series of them together and then would harpoon the animals. With the big ones, they'd attach the rum barrels to prevent them from sinking. This term is called kegging. So once all five of those are on, the animal will then put a sea drove on as well, so a sea anchor. The boys stop that animal from diving down. Um, here a few years back we were out of Miami, an eight metre animal pulled two of those big boys completely under the water, disappeared from the surface. So that's the power we're talking about on how strong these animals are. So the, the five boys prevent it from diving, they might pull the first two, three down, depending on the size of the animal, but they soon get that learned behaviour that they can't do it. Now the floats are attached, which will help keep the whale at the surface, the teams can begin cutting the shark net. These nets are 186 metres long and have a depth between 3 to 6 metres. It can take anywhere between 15 minutes and over an hour to free the whale and is dependent on many factors such as swell, level of entanglement and presence of other whales. Once the whale is free, we head for home, ending another day of training. But every year, the whales come back, and so do we.